Hey, welcome to Discovering Thailand. My name's Peter, and today we're doing a video all about my budget for the month. Quite a few people have uh, requested this, so I thought, well, I'll do a video. I've come to a uh, small temple here. Uh, it's a Saturday morning here. You'll be able to hear the monks in the background doing their, their chanting but it's a lot better than the noise I put up with out in the street. There's a market going on. And then I went to a, a park earlier on to find a nice quiet place. And then all the gardeners were out there with their leaf blowers making noise and oh. So I've come off the street into here. So hopefully um, the monks will be a nice uh, comforting uh, sound to listen to as we go through the um, details here. What I'm gonna do is talk about uh, just a typical month, okay? The month is August, so we're so sort of just before high season and it's a cooler time of the year as well so um, which will come to the first thing on my list which is the uh, electricity bill and the water bill so I'm in a condo here and my electricity and water bill comes monthly and it's at government rate and the water is about a hundred baht that's it now I'm going to give all these costs in Thai baht. If you want to find out what it is in your own currency, it's quite easy. Just Google, uh, you know, thousand baht in Euro or US or British pounds or whatever, wherever you are and you'll figure it out. Electricity. Now the electricity was 780 baht for the month, which is, which is quite low, I've noticed, um, compared to the peak of the hot season when we had temperatures of 40 odd degrees, and I had the aircon on a fair bit. My electricity back then was nearly double that amount. But that is the electricity bill with no, I didn't touch my, my air conditioning unit at all. Not part of that bill. If anything, it would probably be my computer that runs most of the time during the day. And then probably just the refrigerator, which is running, of course. Uh, I got a toaster. Uh, and a few other things so there are a few little electrical appliances 780 includes that hundred uh, for the water so the electricity was only actually 680 we'll give a total at the end and uh, we'll, and I think you'll be quite surprised at what this turns out now I also hire a motorbike every month which I'm actually on my way to see the guy now to have a cup of coffee with him their link to them is down in the description below if you're interested in getting a good deal. So my motorcycle hire is a 125 Yamaha scooter. Um, it's only a couple of years old and it's fine. It does me fine. That's cost me 2,700 a month. Instead of buying a bike, I rented a bike. I don't pay, it's got insurance. So it's covered, I'm covered as the rider on that bike. And I don't have to worry about registration or any other expenses other than putting the fuel in. And I can tell you, well, I filled up that tank with 130 baht and that'll last me almost a month. That's amazing. Almost a month, depending on how much I ride, which I don't ride a lot. But I'll get a month out of that. So it's negligible, isn't it? All right, grocery shopping. Now, I go to the Rimping supermarket, which I've done a video on that if you want to have a look at the prices and compare there, which is aimed at foreigners and westerners in the country with all the products uh, it's a little bit more expensive and I do like to buy my peanut butter and my uh, wheat bix and a few nice jams and things that I'm used to so my average shopping there is about 2,300 baht okay and that that averages in the way that not every month I'm buying shampoo all right, or shower gel, soap, or um, things like that that are quite expensive and do bump up the price considerably. One of the most expensive items I am buying each time I go shopping, well, not even each time actually, is coffee. So it can cost me up to 400 baht for a jar of coffee, but of course that's not, that'll last me more than a month. Um, I think I'll get close to two months out of that. So, yeah, on an average, we're looking at 2,300 for my shopping. Now, I'm just on my own. I'm just one person. I haven't got a wife, I haven't got kids. 
so I'm just one person take that into account okay now my mobile phone here is through a company called AIS they work out at 250 baht per month um, I pay it online through my phone through my banking app or through the phone app actually because I also have AIS as my internet service at the condo and they're both on the app so I can pay them both through the app so 250 baht the condo uh, internet is same AIS, AIS as I said it's um, unlimited um, the speeds are 10 times faster than they were in Australia so no problems there I watch everything in high definition I also have Netflix it's 420 baht a month so again good value all right now another one of my expenses monthly you might think this is strange but hey I'm only one person so I don't have to do my laundry every week okay so I do my laundry roughly three to four weeks and it comes to about 280 baht now that may seem expensive but um, you got to remember I do everything I wash everything in that when I do that laundry drop so the bed sheets the towels uh, the dishcloths all my clothes everything is all done so there's probably about I'd say about eight kilos or more of um, laundry and what I do is I don't go out to the laundromat and sit there and watch the machine tumble away and, and do it that way which would be a lot cheaper a lot less than half that price I do it the lazy way I go my condo have they have a laundromat downstairs but in the lunchtime after lunch and pick it up the next day so um, yeah so 280 is for my laundry all right rent okay so I'm on a very good deal okay as far as I'm aware I've probably got one of the cheapest lowest rents in my whole building for what it is so it's uh, I think 42 I think it's 42 or 48 square meters so it's a decent sized condo quite large it's an old building so the older buildings um, tend to be larger I pay 8,000 a month that's it actually have a, uh, a one of those desk calendars and each date through there when everything's due I have them all marked on the calendar so there we go for that oh and water water is a recent um, addition so what I do was I um, I used to just buy my water you go 7-eleven or the little shops around and pick up a bottle here and there now I just recycle and reuse those bottles and I get my own 20 litre bottle um, again the condo supplies them downstairs I go down and see the security guard and the girls at the desk there and it only costs 30 baht for 20 litres uh, it fits perfectly under the sink and then on Lazada you can buy this little pump that sits on the top with the hose and it, it's USB and you charge it and you just hit the button on the top it's got a little nozzle and you just fill up your bottles your little plastic bottles and put them in the fridge and you've always got cold water and you gradually work your way through that 20 litre container I'm on to my second one now and I would say that it lasted me my the first one lasted me five weeks can you believe that five weeks all my drinking water um, but this one lasted me a bit less for some reason um, but again we're talking 30 bar it's a dollar it's nothing all right but it's it's an expense so it's on the list eating out okay like I said I do grocery shopping all right we're looking at about two and a half thousand baht a month that means that I don't go out and eat as much as I used to when I first came here all right I used to go out every day every night have all my meals I used to think it was better to eat out and, and cheaper than it is to eat in then I just developed a few health problems swollen feet which I still have and uh, ended up with a rash on my arm and I just thought that the diet was not doing me too good so now I would say that I'd probably have about five meals five dinners and now at home in the condo I make I do my own cooking I might eat out twice a week all right now breakfast I have all my own breakfast in the condo I don't go out for breakfast very often sometimes I will shout myself to a banana uh, roti banana honey roti 
have put on my list here 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven I go in there and I grab snacks, all right? I like my cans of Sprite. I like my my um, packet of chips now and then. I like um, just little bits and pieces, little cakes they have, things like that. So I put that in at 1500 extra a month. Again, it's not much. I'm not buying the toasted sandwiches there. I just walk in there, I might, I mean, an ice cream out of the freezer there only costs 20 baht, you know? And I usually have an ice cream nearly every night, 20 baht. That's less than a dollar, all right? After all of that, in total, 793 Australian dollars a month, okay? In US dollars, that's $536 a month. And in the UK, 410 pound. And I even got euros there at 483 euros. Okay. So I seen a guy put a video out the other day saying, oh, you can live on $1,000 a month in Thailand. Well, of course you can. I'm living on half that. He was talking about US dollars as well. Okay. So I told you what I'm paying for, all of that stuff. And that's what it comes to. So just over 500 US, nearly 800 Australian a month, down to $200 a week Australian, less than. Now there are unexpected and pop-up expenses that happen, all right? The other day my, um, my jug broke. I went to go boil some water for my coffee, it didn't turn on. And that was a new one I bought just a few weeks earlier. Some unknown Chinese brand name knockoff so this time I went out and bought a Philips one of a prop, proper band, brand name and hopefully that'll be okay. But again, that cost me a bit more. The first jug cost me about 400 baht. This one I just bought cost me about 900 baht. Let's hope it lasts longer. But this is some of the little expenses that come out, extras in the month. Um, another thing was a, a air fryer. I bought an air fryer, okay? That was a bit more expensive. That came to about Actually, they had it on special, so it was less than 2,000 baht for an air fryer. And my God, I'm making so much use of that now. In fact, my microwave hardly gets turned on. In fact, the, the microwave oven is now acting as a bread bin <laughs> to keep my bread in. The air fryer, I'm cooking up chicken and pork and fish and everything, so it's, it's fantastic. Other expenses that popped up during the month, there was a few medical expenses. They were expected. A, a visit to the doctor here at at uh, the, the uh, private hospital here is 350 baht, but that was it. So there you go. So 800 Aussie dollars a month I'm getting by over here on, and and that's fine. Uh, I'm not missing out on anything. Now, all right, I don't drink. I don't drink alcohol. There's no alcohol on this list, so that's a big saver. All right. Um, another thing that's not on this list: women. Okay. No girls on this list, okay? Uh, I might as well shave my head and become a monk the way I'm going, but I'm not gonna go out and spend money on, on any of that. I can go out and have a nice uh, cappuccino in a coffee shop and every now and then spend a little bit more and have a nice bit of cheesecake or, and so forth. Um, going out to the markets now, I just went out and bought these, uh, what were they? They're like little pastry things. They're, they're, they're quite nice, you know. There were six of them in here. This was for breakfast. I managed to eat four of them. That was enough. That filled me up and I got two left. They cost 30 baht. A dollar. A dollar. That's breakfast. Done. Anyway, guys, there you go. There's my budget and my expenses for the month for those who wanted to know. Um, so if you're a single person on your own over here, you don't drink alcohol, you don't smoke, you can live very, very cheap. I mean, there's no way I, I could do that in Australia. No chance in the world. Under $800 a month, that's $200 a week. No, no chance. I wouldn't even cover my rent back in Sydney in Australia at all. No chance. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, you can also join if you want. Uh, to help support the channel for the cost of a cappuccino a month that's all that won't take much out of the budget okay five Aussie dollars a month and um, I'll see you all in the next video okay bye for now cheers